hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and bad news my last video was age restricted i don't know what was the reason behind it uh, youtube didn't provide any valid reason they just emailed me and told me that we are age restricting your video because that video was violating their conditions or regulations or something like that uh, in fact i watched that video for about 10 to 20 times yesterday but i didn't get any vulgar activity or some offensive words or something like that i don't know what kind of machine learning algorithm they are using or machine learning model they, they are using anyways um, i took it as a lesson it is a part of life right uh, you won't get everything that you deserve at some point of time we all have to face this harsh reality anyways uh, it's totally fine with me so let us come back to our question so in today's question we have an almost inertialless plank ab uh, can rotate about an stationary horizontal axle o its end b rests on a platform where a small block of mass m is placed on it at a distance l from the axle as shown in the figure okay a bead of mass m0 is dropped from a height h0 hits the platform near the end a uh, at a distance l0 from the axle if all the collisions are perfectly elastic every object is perfectly rigid find height to which the block will jump so this mass will come down hit this plank so this end will gain some velocity as a result this end will also gain some velocity it will push the block in the vertically upward direction it will reach a maximum height so we need to find that height right so let us come to a solution so when this mass falls freely reaches at the point a it will gain a velocity of root over 2h 2gh naught right and just after collision we have assumed that the velocity of the mass m naught is v1 okay and uh, the end of the plank will gain a velocity v2 as a result the other end of the plank will gain a velocity v3 of course it will have a common angular velocity omega okay so as the collision is elastic we can say that the velocity of separation that is v1 plus v2 equals to velocity of approach that is root 2g h0 okay for common angular velocity omega equals to v2 by l0 which is also equal to v3 divided by l right so comparing we get v3 equals to l by l0 times v2 now for this mass there is an impulsive force that will act on it in the upward direction and due to that impulse there will be a change in linear momentum so final momentum is in the upward direction v1 minus of minus 2g h0 so there will be a plus symbol here and for the plank for the structure of the plank and this mass combined there will be an impulsive force which will create an angular impulse in the anti-clockwise direction resulting in increase of the angular momentum of the whole plank plus block structure right so the angular impulse is j times l naught which is equal to moment of inertia because the plank is massless so moment of inertia is only of this block which is m times l square times omega i into omega so omega is v2 by l naught we all have already discussed this one so solving this we get j equals this one so we just put this value of j here comparing using 3 and 4 we come to this equation and after that just writing so from here we get come to this one uh, equation 1 remember velocity of separation and approach will be same we just put this equation here solving of for v2 we get this one now to find out the maximum height reached by the block we need v3 so v3 we have already discussed by comparing the value of omega right so just using v3 from v2 uh, we got v3 so maximum height is v3 square by 2g because if you throw something with some speed v3 uh, under gravity the maximum height it will reach is v3 square by 2g okay so the final answer would be this one this is the maximum height reached by the block pretty easy question right and 
don't worry uh, if youtube might delete my channel i don't know um, so if you don't see my channel from tomorrow or any some day don't think that i have done something this is the work of youtube okay not my fault so uh, i hope uh, youtube will check my video once again and remove their age restriction tag from my video i have full trust uh, on them and uh, so we are waiting to reach our 1000 subscriber so if you are new to this channel please do hit the subscribe button if you like the video give a thumbs up and uh, good luck everyone i'll see you in the next one peace take care